Previously on the bill. The boy never stops. I was on holiday and he was the tennis coach or something. Hey, Basie, your missus. She ever look up? He's out of your league, mate. <laughs> you look like an aging boy, Ben. There you go. Person, why they put me with you first? They can't do nothing if I can't Sierra do something. Sierra Oscar IBO, Sierra Oscar IBO, suspected burglary at 50 Langford well, Road in Waverley Park. Informant is Mrs. Jill see. Bentley, the resident. Oh, receive, show us dealing. Let's go, Benny Boy! <laughs> Call it Bentley. It's Jill. Uh, please, it's this way. I was just coming back from work. I'm on night, and I found the gate like this. Now, there's only the two of us. I think someone tried to get in. It looks like someone might have tried to force the door. Oh. My daughter Sarah was alone in the house. So, she doesn't remember hearing anything? No. She's not been very well. I think she's got that virus. Sir? I'm Nate. This is Ben. Your mum says you were in all last night. Did you see or hear anything? No, I was tanked up on flu medicine. I went to bed about ten. Well, the good thing is, the house is pretty secure. The burglar either gave up or got disturbed and legged it. So what are you going to do? Well, to be honest, Mrs Bentley, there's not much we can do at the moment. The crime scene examiner will come by and dust for prints, so please don't touch anything. In the meantime, we'll have a look around, check with the neighbours, see if they saw anything. That girl's got no virus. Sarah? Yeah. If you're asking me, she's nursing a grade one hangover. You reckon? No, I can smell the booze in the kitchen. You must have noticed the bin liner down the side of the house. Really? Yeah, it's full of beer cans, bottles, cigarette boxes. You know, Mr. Tree. No, oh, we've all done it, haven't we? I remember I must have been about 16, 17. My parents went away for the weekend, and I promised I wouldn't have anyone over. See so you at a party. If anything was, my mum was slightly more observant than Sarah's. Sierra Oscar 2-1 from IBO. Go to rear of shops, Langport Road, Waverley Park. Body found. Left here. There we go. Over there! Hello, mate. Hello, can you hear me? Breathing. Danny. Sierra Oscar from 876. We've arrived at the scene off Langport Road. The victim is unconscious but still breathing. How's he doing? Hanging in there. Still unconscious? Yeah. Nasty. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Wesley. You know him? Wesley Fitzroy. He's a friend of my brother, Emmanuel. Does he live around here? No, he lives near us in the Highfield Estate. Do you know his parents? Yeah, they're away at the minute. Right. Well, maybe I should go down the hospital with him. Maria, right? I recognise you from St Hughes. Yeah, well, they let us out on the front line once in a while. Well, can you tell me about Wesley here? Well, he was supposed to be out with my brother last night. At a party for his football club. Wesley plays too. Can we call your brother when we get to the hospital? I need to speak to him. Yeah, sure. My name's Nate, by the way. Sergeant Stone's down there securing the scene, organising door to door and checking for CCTV. Roger's on his way to assist. Right, and Ben and Nate were first on scene? Yeah, they got called out to a possible attempt to break in a few streets away. And this is Jill Bentley. Okay. What does Kremich show on the victim? Uh, Wesley Fitzroy, one arrest. Possession of MDMA with intent to supply. Mate was borderline, he got off with a caution. But he didn't have any drugs on him? No. Do we know how he's doing? Uh, Nate's at St Hughes now. We'll try and contact the family. Thank you. 
And Eddie's on his way? Yeah, reluctantly. I'll meet him down there. All right, thank you. What time do you call this? How about the first time you ever beat us to a crime scene? How long is this going to take? Do you see these? These are hands, not ones. I suppose you weren't all this by yesterday. That will be helpful, Eddie. Seeing as it's you, Joe. Hi. Any luck? I've just gone half past one and Mrs. Dunwood heard what she describes as someone screaming blue murder. Right, but she didn't think to call us. She was going to, but it stopped. Any CCTV? There's only one camera that will be any use to us. It's faulty. OK, thanks, Joe. Hiya. Uh, is this where you found him, yeah? Yeah, just there, on his side, legs down here. Right. Eddie? Is there anything to indicate the direction he was coming? A small patch of blood here, that could be his. Leading to these two. Which leads to this bigger patch here, and that's where he was found. That's the direction of the house we got a shout from this morning. It's about from this way. And you think the daughter had some kind of party? It looked like it. Well, let's ask her. See if Wesley was there. None of your neighbours have seen an intruder, I'm afraid, Mrs Bentley. We did find a young man who'd been very badly assaulted just a few hundred yards from here. Right, but how would that be related? Well, we don't know that it is at this stage, but, um... Sarah, do you know a Wesley Fitzroy? Could he have been here last night? No. Sarah was unwell. And anyway, she'd never have had boys round here without asking me. Mrs Bentley, could you show me the point of entry again? Yeah. Please take a few photos. Look, I'm gonna go back to bed. A couple of paracetamol and a fry-up normally sort me out. It's not a hangover. Right. And you don't know Wesley Fitzroy? No. Are you certain he wasn't here last night? Yes. Okay. Any news? They've taken him to have Burhole surgery. I've spoken to my brother, he's coming down now. And Wesley's parents are definitely away. Right. Thank you. So, do you do you go out with the ambulance often? Maria. Do they know what happened? Not yet, just that he was beaten up pretty badly. But he's gonna be okay. We hope so. This is my brother Emmanuel. Manny. I am PC Roberts. Thank you. Maria was telling me how you were out with Wesley last night. Yeah, a bunch of us were at a football to a Maycroft. Did you see what time he left? No, I turned around and he'd gone. Must have been about 11. Don't suppose you saw who he left with? No. And he didn't get into any fight at the party? Any kind of problems of any sort? No. Is there something you want to talk to me about, Manny? There was this geezer, Aubrey Haynes. He used to be in the team. He was at the party. OK, was there a problem? Not really, but Wesley doesn't really like him, so maybe that's why he left. Did you see anything else? No, I was with a couple of girls getting busy, you know what I mean? Sorry, he thinks he's a bit of a Lothario. Oh, no, it's fine. So what time did you leave, Manny? About one. And you didn't see Wesley again? No. Can I go and see him? Not yet. I'll give you a shout when he's out of surgery. Excuse me. Sarah Bentley isn't telling us everything. She's obviously very worried about what her mother might say. Is her mother that fearsome? Oh, she's just a single mum who works night shifts trying to try keep the family afloat. I think she's more naive than anything. Stone? I agree. Sarge. I think there's someone we need to look into. An Aubrey Haynes? Aubrey Haynes? Yeah, we're running through Crimmin. Spoke to Wesley's mate, Emmanuel. He said Wesley left the football deal around 11, just after this Aubrey arrived. I think there's some sort of beef between them. OK, mate. Stay on the line, will you? Here we go. Aubrey Haynes, burglaries, car thefts, going right back to when he was 12, more of the same. Various drug arrests and a string of violent offences leading to a conviction for serious wounding. Did 18 months, just got out. Check his known associates. Wesley Fitzroy. Possession with intent to supply, suspected of running for Aubrey. So Wesley used to work for Aubrey. Let's pay him a visit. Mate, me and Ben, we'll meet you down at 12, Roper's House, Elkham Estate. Yeah, that's it. Aubrey! We'll cut him off downstairs! Put him out! Aubrey! Aubrey! Police! Stay where you are! 
No bread. <laughs> Good. You're nicked. <laughs> yes. Nothing. Thank you. All right. Found this on him. Found these in his flat. We think it's MDMA. So the attack could be drug related. Well, we know he and Wesley have a history. There's a number of possibilities. Could be a drug deal that went wrong. Maybe Wesley's now a rival dealer. No, we don't find any drugs on Wesley. Could be that Aubrey thinks Wesley had something to do with him going down. Mm. Well, this possession charge could put them back inside, so I think we've got him over a barrel. For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing the suspect exhibit NR1. Found this in your flat. I've never seen that in my life. It's a plant. It's gonna have your fingerprints all over it, Aubrey. Okay, and that alone is enough to put you back in your old cell. So, Aubrey, can you explain to us what your relationship with Wesley Fitzroy is? Well, we're just good friends. We ain't got no relationship. When did you last see him? Last night at a party. What time was that? I don't know, about half ten. Did you two speak to each other at all? Well, I said all right, that sort of thing. He left a bit after that. Hey, what's this about, man? Wesley was attacked last night. Right. Quite badly beaten. Was he all right? No. He's having surgery. Where did you go after he left? Well, I stayed at the party. And you were there all night? Yeah, in and out. I mean, you can't smoke inside anymore, so I was freezing my backside off every ten minutes. But, yeah, I stayed till the end. Can anyone verify that? Yeah, ask around. Or you ain't fitting me up for this, you know? Ask anyone, ask Ross Daniels who runs the team. I was there when he closed the party up about two. Sends off the lab for analysis. Got a call from the hospital. Wesley's surgery went well, but they found traces of a banned substance in his blood. MDMA. Could be that Aubrey sold him something just for the party. Right, well, Aubrey's just given a Ross Daniels from the football club as his alibi. Let's get Nate and Ben down there to check his story. Cool it. Okay. What do you want to know about Wesley for? He was attacked last night, badly beaten. Last night? Mm. Is he going to be OK? Well, let's hope so. Did you see anything happening? Wesley was here with his mate. His best mate, Emmanuel Joseph. They ain't drinking? If they were, it didn't come from me. They're underage. Have I seen you somewhere before? I don't think so. What can you tell us about Aubrey Haynes? What do you want to know? Oh, so he was at the party last night. Just wondering if you can verify that for us. Yeah, he was. I don't remember exactly what time he arrived. About ten-ish. But he was here at the finish. He was trying to buy a round of drinks at last orders. Why? He's been arrested for possession of MDMA with intent to supply. And we now know Wesley had MDMA in his system. And you thought it might have something to do with the club? Or me? You got a problem with that? Are there any CCTV cameras in the clubhouse? You'd be lucky. Well, I'd say Wesley left around 11, maybe a little before. You just happened to see that? I keep my eyes on things. Some of the boys here, they've been up to stuff. I give them a second chance. Everyone deserves a second chance. That's pretty much what this football team's about. I'd have thought having Aubrey Haynes hanging around makes that a pretty hard task. It's not harder than telling him to go away. I 
to you, Sarge. There's something I need to check out. Is that right? Could Ross have got it wrong? It seemed pretty clear. OK, then we're going to have to bail Aubrey pending analysis of the drugs. The CPS don't think the amount we've found can prove his dealing. So, where did Wesley go after he left that party and who was he with? That's what we need to find out. I knew there was something about this guy. Ross Daniels, the coach. He's got form all a long time ago. Drugs and assault. Well, now he's paying his dues. Runs a football club, believes in giving kids a second chance, including Aubrey Haynes. Football club's perfect cover for running drugs. Give you access to youth markets, schools. Mm. Ross could have given him a false alibi. OK, check their background, see if there's anything else that links them. Oh. What would you lot be about me, eh? Found these in Wesley Fitzroy's clothes, and after careful analysis, I can confidently reveal they're from the 24-hour convenience store in Broadhurst Road. Oh, and under torture, I can also reveal that they were purchased around 1.17 this morning. You found a receipt? Yeah. Hang on, you're the second person that's done that to me today. Am I becoming predictable? Might just be in need of some new material, Eddie. Yeah, that convenience store's five minutes from where we found Wesley, just the other side of Wesley Park. OK, Nate, Ben, get down to the shop, find out what Wesley was doing there and who he was with. Not predictable. Wesley was here last night. Are you sure he was in? Yeah, he's seen him before. He was in buying some stuff, this other guy turns up, they start arguing, in and out, all on here. 117. There's Wesley, but who's he waving to? Manny. Didn't see that coming. And you told you we didn't see Wesley again after the party? Yeah. Better see what he's got to say for himself. Mr. Leon, could be guilt, or it could be that he wants to get to him first when he wakes up, make sure he stays quiet. Either way, he can kiss goodbye to asking his sister out when you nick him. That's why I'm not going to nick him. You are. You see, Roberts, how's it going? What is it? What's happened? We found something out, Maria, and he's been lying to us. We're going to need to speak to him. Not without me, you know. Manuel. I'm PC girl. When you spoke to my colleague earlier on today, you told him that you left the party at least an hour after Wesley. Yeah? And you never saw or heard from him again that night. That's right. And I'm asking you again. Did you see him later on that night? No. Well, the owner of the convenience store on Broadhurst Road said he saw you two together in the store at around quarter past one. There'll be an explanation. Emmanuel? The shopkeeper's lying. Got you both on CCTV, mate. Emmanuel Joseph, I'm arresting your suspicion of causing grievous bodily harm to Wesley Fitzroy. What? Sorry, Maria. Emmanuel Joseph, 121 Rowan House, Highfield Estate. This is all wrong. Wesley's his best mate. Well, if he's done nothing wrong, he's got nothing to worry about, is he? We must stitch him up. Do I get him a solicitor? Yeah. Well, we can sort out a duty search if you want. They're all very experienced. As he's 16, he's going to need an appropriate adult. But if you want, you can see him as one. Yeah, please. OK. Excuse me. Where are we at? Just need, just need a duty system, Mum. OK, will you give us a shout when you're ready? Joe and I are going to do the interview. Actually, Mum, do you think I could do the interview? Just, um, we've built up a bit of a rapport and I just think a friendly face will help us get to the bottom of this. Fine. You can be back, Cop. Manny, why did you tell me you never saw Wesley after the party? It was just the shop owner said he thought he saw the two of you arguing. Is that right? I don't know. I don't even remember. I told you, we'd had a few drinks, I was pretty drunk. So how do you remember what time you left the party? You were with a girl, you said. I was. Well, maybe she can tell them. Manny, you want to tell us what the two of you were arguing about? Emmanuel? Drugs. What about drugs? I was worried Wesley was going to get involved with Aubrey again. Involved how? You know, running for him. Dealing. Why would he do that? Because Aubrey wanted him to. And you don't say no to Aubrey. So why didn't you tell us any of this before? 
didn't want to get Wesley into trouble. You see? I told you. Where did you go after you left the shop? Nowhere. Just wandered around. You don't think you did it, do you? No. Why? Because you fancy a sister. No. What? You don't fancy a sister? No. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think she's lovely. I just... I just don't think he's capable of doing what was done to Wesley. Well, maybe that's because we haven't worked out a motive yet. Joe? Nate? What have you got? He's admitted seeing him, claims they were arguing because Wesley was under pressure to start dealing again. That's half plausible. Mm, he's obviously lying about this girl at the party. And he doesn't have an alibi for later. Nate? No answers at the moment, Mum. Mum? Jill Bentley's called again. Says her daughter's gone missing. There was someone here. See? When I asked her about it, she got upset. Started shouting. Said it was none of my business. Why couldn't she have a party? She never shouts at me. I went out for a walk to clear my head, but when I went to check on her, she wasn't there. And that's when I saw her room. And this couldn't have happened this morning? No. I'd have heard. Have you touched anything? No. I have never seen her cry like that. Something has happened. Look, we don't know if anything's happened yet, Mrs. Bentley. <laughs> she might be fine. No, why don't you take Mrs. Bentley downstairs? Sure. Callum. Blood. Yeah. I don't like this at all. So, what are we looking at, Callum? Hard to say. The bedroom's been trashed. The signs of blood. And the mother said the girls are in the right state. This all happened last night? Yeah, it seems so. OK. I want this fully forensicated. This has got to be more than attempted burglary now. Yeah, Eddie's going to have a look at that when he's finished in the bedroom. OK. Do we know if she has a phone with her? As far as we can tell. Been on to TIU. Just wait for them to get back to me. Oh, thank you. Sarah, take those. Yeah. They're very good. Mum. Thank you. Mrs Bentley. Hi. Leigh yeah, Nixon. We'll be doing everything we can to find Sarah. But we are going to need a bit of help. Is there anywhere you think she might have gone? The relatives or... No. Friends? I've called all her friends. What about her boyfriend? <laughs> no. She's too young. OK. Well, if you think of anything, you'll let us know. Thank you. How are we doing, Eddie? Hey, hey, hey. So that's nice. We're not coming here today. We are, Nate. Well, it's too early for any kind of a match, but it's definitely blood, and it's been there since last night. You'd know that already, wouldn't you? Yes. Because I'm so predictable. No, because it's dry. <sighs> well, I'll cross-match it with anything I find on the back gate. Good, thank you. These cast the bomb. She must be keen. Mom. Nate. Wesley. She does know. Maybe Wesley was attacked here. OK. Let's pay Ross another visit, see what he has to say about this girl. Vincent! Oh, oh, you come and let him get behind you like that when he moves. Go with him! So you come to see how it's done properly? They're a bit fast for me now. They're too fast for themselves. So what do you want? Do you see this girl at the party? Maybe. We get a lot of football groupies, even though this lot don't get paid anything. She's disappeared. And you think it's got something to do with one of the boys? Lads, will you spread out? Wesley was found a few minutes from our house. We also found photos of him in her bedroom. Oi, cut that. You got a nickname? Yeah, I did have. Rosa. That's how I know you. Some East London Youth Cup. Yeah, I played for Canley Eagles. Yeah, you beat us in the final. I dislocated my shoulder. Yeah, I remember. You went off and they popped it back in. You played all the second half. Yeah, I didn't actually dislocate it. Just told everyone that, so they all thought I was hard. Listen, um, if you remember anything, you can give us a call on this number. It's important. This is a mate of Emmanuel's. She turned up with him last night. Manny? Did she leave with him? 
No, he left alone. She left with Wesley. Manny's in custody. He lied to us. He was seen with Wesley less than 20 minutes before the attack. Let me lay it out for you. I've been coaching here for a long time now. You get to know a thing or two about the boys you're looking after. Emmanuel, he has character. You know it when you see it. That boy is not into drugs or violence. How come you didn't tell me any of this earlier? Because it's hard to trust you lot. And I didn't know you then. Emmanuel, could this be a jealousy thing? Looks that way, Mum. Eddie, you've got something for us. Oh, you can run, but you can't hide, baby. No secret is safe from the great Olusunji. What have you got, Eddie? The blood in Sarah's room matches what we found in the alley this morning. Wesley? The very same. And I also found some fingerprints in the room and skin cells on the damaged gate. But you won't get this one. Emmanuel Joseph. Yeah, how do you know that? It's obvious. Thank you, Eddie. Right, get his appropriate adult and get him in for interview, please, Nate. Oh. What's going on with my brother? I've had to take enough time off work as it is. Maria, does Manny know a Sarah Bentley? Yeah. Yeah, he does. They're friends. Apparently she left the party with Wesley last night. She's now gone missing and we found Wesley's blood and Manny's fingerprints in her bedroom. You wouldn't hurt anyone, Nate. You have to help him. Listen, I'm taking you to the interview room now. But before I do, you need to know something. It's not looking good. So if there's anything you can tell me to help yourself out of this, now will be a good time to start telling the truth. I was taking Sarah to the party. We've been mates for a while. She makes me laugh, you know. We were in her bedroom before we left. And that's when I decided to tell her. Tell her that I loved her. She said I was her best mate. But she wanted to tell me that she'd just started seeing Wesley. So I took her to the party. I tried to pretend it didn't matter. But I was embarrassed. I couldn't talk to her. Especially what to know of Wesley. So I just kept drinking. Then she left. With my best mate. I was drunk, so I went looking for them. Then what happened? I met Wesley at the shop. I knew she was waiting for him. I wished I was him. So I went round Sarah's house. So I went round the back. But the door was locked. So I gave it a kick. And then I just went crazy and took it out of the gate. I just felt stupid. Like some sad old stalker. You're not a stalker, Manny. We've all hit things over a girl. I've lost count of amount of times I've done it. But it's not worth getting yourself into trouble over. Come on. Just tell the truth and you'll be fine. Have you ever been in Sarah's bedroom? Yeah. I was in her room when I went to pick her up. I can only go around when her mum's out. When you were in the shop, what did you and Wesley argue about? Sarah. I told Wesley he was out of order. What happened after you left the shop? I went around Sarah's house. I knew he was in there with her, so I tried to get in. I'm sorry I lied. I was just embarrassed. Manuel. I know it was pathetic, but... I just didn't want her hanging around with them. Them? N nothing. No one. Just... She wasn't just with Wesley. Who else was with them, Manny? Tell them. I saw Aubrey leave the party at the club just after they did. And... 
when I was at Sarah's back door, I saw him inside. They were having their own private party. That upset me even more. That's why I left. Aubrey's alibi places him at the party between 9 and 2.30? Yeah, that's right. Well, he couldn't be in two places at once. Which means he's got to be lying. Ross is alibi him. What do you make of Ross, Nate? Do you think he's straight up? Hard to say, Mum. I mean, he claims he cares for the lads, but Aubrey's a drug dealer. Can't be very healthy to have someone like that around, can it? Mm. Let's persuade him to come in for a chat. Cheers for coming in, mate. Hoping you can help us out with the problem. Yeah, go on. Who said Aubrey was still at the party at 2 a.m.? He was. <clears throat> it's just, uh, we've got a statement that contradicts that. Right, but what am I supposed to do about that? You want me to lie? No, no, no. Can you tell us what your relationship with Aubrey is? Ah, oh, I get it. You've had a look at my record. So you think I'm involved? You think I'm protecting Aubrey for some reason? Man, I thought you were all right. Well, if you want to know anything else, you'd better nick me, cos I'm out of here. Uh, hang on, hang on. Just, just chill out for a second, all right? No one's accusing you of anything. But Aubrey isn't exactly the best influence in the group, is he? Just wondering why you let him hang around. I tolerate Aubrey for two reasons. One, I haven't caught him doing anything yet. So until proven guilty. And two, the minute I start policing these lads is the minute they stop coming. And that's more important than anything else. All right, fine. Tell me this. What was Aubrey doing at 2 a.m. when you saw him? He was trying to buy a round of drinks. Who for? Well, for whoever was at the bar. Really? Is he usually that popular? Well, no, but he was complaining about being caught out just before we closed. But he managed to get his round in. Ross, would you say Aubrey was trying to be seen? Trying to be noticed? Possibly. And you didn't see him much before then? No. No, I suppose not. How long from the alleyway back to the party? 15, 20 minutes if you walk, less if you're in a hurry. So Aubrey could have been in the alleyway at 1.30 committing the assault and back at the party by 10 to 2. No question. Do you want me to get a couple of teams down the route looking for him? Yeah, let's pick him up. Now, how are we doing with Wesley? He's still unconscious. Right, and we still haven't found Sarah. If it is Aubrey, she's probably the only one who might be able to tell us why. OK, thanks, bye. That was a service provider. They've traced her mobile, placed it within a 200-metre radius of Haygarth Library. OK, is there anything else there? Shops, offices, flats. She could be anywhere. Hey, but Creek. No. When I was checking through Sarah's stuff, it looked like she was doing some sort of project, these series of photos. They were downstairs too. Yeah, I saw them. Yeah, well, it looks like there were shots of the creek. You know, water, bridges, old barges. Might be worth a look. Yeah, it's a good idea. So what are you thinking? Needles and haystacks, mate. You? I was thinking about where she was when she took the photos. I mean, a lot of them seem to be arty shots of steelworks. Abstracts, girders, cables. I don't know. Like a crane or something? No. Sarah? It's all right. You know us. Name Ben. Just come to see if you're okay. Please, leave me alone. We know something happened in your room last night. Whatever it is, you can tell us. Come to help. It's cold out here. It's getting the warm, yeah? I'll take you back down the station. No, I don't want to go anywhere. What? Everyone's worried about you. Mum's in pieces. I don't want her to know anything. Tell you what. We've got a mutual friend. Maria, Manny's sister. She's a nurse. She can take a look at you. Make sure you're okay. I can give her a call if you want. She can meet us down the hospital. What do you reckon? Thanks for doing this. No problem. I came back to work an hour ago anyway. Your boss released my brother. Yeah, I know. Help convince her. Thanks. So no one from the hospital knows Sarah's here? No, it's kind of unofficial. 
Mm, there's me thinking that you're just following orders, Ty. Yeah, well, there's no end to my hidden depths. I don't tell everyone. Hi, Sarah. Come on, let's get you inside. What's the latest on Wesley? He's still unconscious. Who is she? Look, it's not really for me to say, but now you will need to have a look at. From my experience, her injuries, her demeanor, I'm pretty sure she's been sexually assaulted. My name's Sam. I'm a police officer. I appreciate that this is hard. So if you don't want to tell me anything, you don't have to. All right? I would like to talk to you about what happened after you left the party last night. We got the bus back to mine. Who did? Me and Wesley and Aubrey. And then what happened? They got some beers from the off-license. Were you all drinking? Yeah. And they had some drugs. Aubrey had some drugs. Please don't tell my mum. I've never done it before. Don't worry. Just tell us what happened. I was excited at being with Wesley. Aubrey said I should try. Wesley took some, so I, I just went ahead. She's 15 years old. Sarah! She's fine, Mrs. Bentley. Have a seat. Oh, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I didn't want to worry you. Oh, sweetheart. All I care about is that you're safe. Well, tell the officers what happened. Wesley and I were kissing on the settee. And what was Aubrey doing? He was just watching and laughing. And then Wesley wanted me to go upstairs with him, and I, I said no. So he started sulking and he had another drink. I woke up on the settee and everybody was asleep. So I went upstairs and I fell asleep. When I woke up, someone was on top of me. And I tried to scream, but they had their hand over my mouth. It was Aubrey. He, he was holding me down. He was touching me and trying to take my clothes off. And when he took his hand off my mouth, I just started screaming. And then Wesley came in and started pulling him off of me and shouting. Shouting and fighting. Hey, darling. And then I scratched out, and they ran off. And then I just lay there. I was too frightened to move. OK. Thanks, Sarah. Well done. Now, we're going to get you checked over thoroughly. Make sure everything is OK. All right? And thank you. Wesley Fitzroy's awake, ma'am. He's groggy, but the doctors say we can speak to him. I was asleep on the couch, like passed out. And then I heard Sarah screaming, so I just ran up the stairs and Aubrey was on top of her, just going crazy, like an animal. Like he was gonna rape her. So I just grabbed him and I did what I could to get him off her. That's when I got these scratches. What did Aubrey do then? He just went mad, he was just screaming and shouting, and then I just ran out of the house. I, I tried to hide behind these shops, but then he caught me, and then he beat me. That's all I remember, until I woke up here. So were you all taking the MDMA? Yeah. Well, Aubrey was making Sarah take more and more, and I don't usually do that stuff. Well, Aubrey is a psycho, and if you cross him, <laughs> Sarah, is she okay? Yeah, she's in safe hands. Sounds like that's thanks to you. I'm off work again. It's Emmanuel. He knows it's Aubrey. Wesley told him it was Aubrey. Well, I guess you have to find out eventually. But don't worry, we're about to pick up Aubrey. No, you don't understand. He's gone to find him. He's gone after him. 
Do you know where we can find him? You'll hurt him, Nate. You saw what he did to Wesley. You've got to find him, please. Okay. Given Aubrey's form and what we know he did to Wesley, we have to assume that Emmanuel's in danger, so the sooner we get to Aubrey, the better. What have we got? He's been working on mechanics on Coxon Street under the arches. I'll do that. Okay, Roger, Ben, you check his flat. If he's not there, talk to the neighbours. Nate, go to the hospital, speak to Wesley, find out what he knows. Joe, you and I are going to go to Emmanuel's flat, see if he's gone back there. Is this one here, Roger? Hello. Aubrey? Aubrey, are you there? Aubrey? Emmanuel? Probably. Sarah's from 795. Okay, thanks, Ben. Right, looks like Emmanuel's been to Aubrey's flat, but he's not there now. Where else could he be, Wesley? Car place. We've got people on the way there. Anywhere else? Look, have you tried the club? No. Why? Training starts in 15 minutes, and Aubrey's been turning up there uninvited the last couple of weeks, just trying to recruit people. Ross Daniels, they're at the club. I'll see you down there. Right. Can I come with you? Okay. They're my best friends. I'm not going to get away with it. Emmanuel. Put the knife down, this is not the way! You saw what he did to Wesley! What he did to Sarah! Manny! Why should he get away with what he did? He's not gonna get away with it! That's right! He's not! Manny! <laughs> Put it down! Come on! Not like this! Don't let him drag you down with him! Come on! Come on, Manny! Put the knife down! That's it! He's a good lad! There you go! No! Oh! 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 It was an accident. Oh, no. <laughs> you grabbed me. All right. Mm. Ross, give me some towels. Ross, mm. towels now. Mm. You're right. You're right. It's just a flesh wound. Come on, come on, easy. Yeah, you leave your hands. Leave it. Ross, where the towels? Come on. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Put the pressure on. Pressure on. See, got it. Mm. Sierra Oscar from 876, ambulance required. Maycroft Social Club, over. Back, mate. All right, Rog, wait for the ambulance, tell them what's happened when they arrive. Ben, contact the DI, fill her in. You're all right, you're okay. Manny, where'd you get the knife? Manny, the knife, where'd you get it? It was Aubrey's. Right, all right. You're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay, come on, breathe. To his left side. Emmanuel? No, he's okay. You okay? Mm. Well done. Well done. Well done. Nate, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Been working well. Always going to be fine, Mark. It's just a flesh wound. So who pulled the knife in the first place? I don't know. Ross was here before me. Right, Ross. Can you tell me who pulled the knife in the first place? It was Aubrey. Manny got the knife off him in the struggle. It was self-defence. It was Aubrey's knife. I've seen him mucking about with it before. OK, will you speak to DC Masters and make a statement to that effect? Yeah. Thank you very much. Now... You better speak to Emmanuel. Then we can get a full statement. Oh. Rog, do you want to put him in mind? Sure, mate. We're going to have to take Manny into the nick. I suppose I should help with Aubrey. But look, I trust you with Manny. He's a good kid. Yeah, well, you believed in him and us. It means a lot. It will. Some things are worth doing, aren't they? Maria. Sorry, I've got to go. Sure. Take care. Maria? Thought I was going to have to walk slower then. Eh? Yes, Nate. I'd love to go for a drink sometime. Great. Great. Um, well, I'll, uh, I'll be in touch. I look forward to it. 
next time on The Bill. You have a lot of blood here. Trouble is I can't work out where it's coming from. You two have been hiding something from the off. If there's a knife man out there, that overrides everything in my book. Please sing a note. Oh, God, Shelley, please sing a note. He's here, he's here. He's got her.